Oh, look, the fireflies are out. How lovely. What makes the fireflies light up, Dr. Emmett? Are they navy? I really couldn't say, Mrs. Savage. I thought you'd know. Isn't this a bug house? This is the cloisters. This is to be your new home. I am Dr. Emmett. Wouldn't it be fascinating if human beings glowed like fireflies while they were mating? Do you light up when you're mating, Lily? <gasps> Lord knows you're flighty. Um, Mrs. Savage, she's in her late 50s. She recently, her husband passed away and she inherited $10 million from her husband and she started a foundation in memory of him for giving away to sort of foolish causes. And her three stepchildren, they think she's a little bit out of her mind so they sent her to the cloisters, which is where she spends the next few days um, in the play with these really lovable and sweet characters that the audience will fall in love with. And they teach her a lot of interesting lessons and she teaches them some lessons too and she really just takes them under her wing and accept accepts them for who they are, which is really nice. Perhaps we should introduce ourselves. You must be Mrs. Savage. How do you do? I'm Florence Williams. We have been expecting you all afternoon. We're so glad to have you with us. May I introduce Fairy May? Say you love me. But we've just met. You don't have to mean it. I feel wonderful when people say they love me. Well, I'm sure everybody loves you. You see, I told you she wouldn't be spoiled. Welcome to the Cloisters. Collide with us by government tests. Thank you. This is Hannibal. And this is our Mrs. Patty. How do you do, Mrs. Patty? I hate everything in the world. But most of all, I hate lightning, skunk cabbage, custard, mustard, spiders, blisters, girdles, mice, bees, keys, ragweed, chloroform, rhubarb, barnacles, bats, broken glass, eels, comstrongs, tombstones, gulls, and salt, and thunder! Why don't you like rhubarb? Mrs. Patty won't ask you, Mrs. Savage. She'll only recite the things she hates. Sweet, but stubborn. Mrs. Patty stopped talking about 20 years ago. Why? She got mad. Her husband told her to shut up, and she did. She gave up conversation for life. But she's only giving up electricity for Lent. You're a woman of wisdom, Mrs. Patty. There's only one thing wiser than saying very little, and that's saying nothing at all. Well, it always takes me quite a while to choose a play, so I read a lot of plays over the summer, and I try to find one that just resonates with me in some way. Um, and I'm never quite sure going into that process whether I'm going to choose a comedy or a drama. Um, but I read this play and I found myself just laughing as I read it. Um, I could start picturing how it would work on the stage and then I loved by the end of the play that I realized that it had a really serious um, and important message. I do not like the Lily Bell. The reason why I cannot tell. But this I know, I know full well. I do not like the Lily Bell. She's been chanting that over and over all the way down here. So my character's name is Lily Bell. And she is Mrs. Savage's stepdaughter, and Mrs. Savage is our main character. And so Lily Bell is one of the stepchildren who commit her or put her mother into this institution because she has been misusing the money that Lily Bell believes is rightfully hers and her two brothers. I've interpreted the play as um, really something to show acceptance. I think that this play is all about accepting people's differences and what makes them who they are and all their little quirks and, and um, personality traits. It's something that we need to accept in everyone and respect and um, support in one another. Dr. Emmett won't let me wear a bandage. Well, we have to humor our doctors every once in a while. And now you've met everyone. We're a small group in this wing, and we hope you find us comfortable to be with. So the play is March 13th to the 16th. It runs four nights this year, which is, um, we haven't done in a little while. It starts at 7 o'clock p.m. And um, tickets are available through the front office at Miles Mac. You can also, if you're a Miles Mac student or if you're in the building, you can uh, purchase them at lunch in our tunnel, our hallway in the middle of the school. And they're $10 for Miles Mac students, and for the general public, they're, public, they're 14 I'll try to forget goodbye You will always regret goodbye 